the Cesarich will kick off day three. It's a two and a quarter mile nought to one ten handicap at Newmarket. At the top we got Daenerys Stormborn for Graham Clutterbuck. Key goes accord. David Robertson altogether. Charlie Stu Gray, Bina Wild, Leon Van Rensburg, Duke of Dremoyne, Padraig Hogan, Captain Fame, Craig Beck with Hammer and Anvil, Joshua Sutherland, Zephonic Bell for Graham Clutterbuck, and six fields for Martin Leadham. Small field then for this one. And away they go. Big end of season handicap, part of the autumn double. Um, expect to see 20 or so in this normally, but we've only got nine today. And Bean and Wild has gone off into the lead. From Hammer and Anvil in second. Over on the far side, Rail Six Fields is close up with Daenerys Stormborn, but the field is very tightly packed, no more than three lengths or so, first to last, and nothing seems to be all that keen to go on. It looks like Craig Beckwith's horse is finally going to take the race by the scruff of the neck and come through to take it up Captain Fame, but that one's now being eased back. Six Fields is actually now just in the lead, and that one's normally a hold-up horse, but it's Daenerys Stormborn and Captain Fame who are now disputing the lead from Six Fields in third, then the grey altogether Charlie with Kiko's Accord next the one widest on the track is Hammer and Anvil but that's not much of a much of an issue on this new market track line with just the one kink of a turn to take and Captain Fame and the nearest storm board this beautiful lead with six fields on the inside in third then Kiko's Accord is fourth with Duke of Dremoyne and Bina Wild Hammer and Anvil next and all together, Charlie and Zephonic Bell, the back marker. Graham Clutterbuck, the only trainer double handed in this one. And Captain Fame it is. He continues to show the way. To the nearest Stormborn in second. Six fields on the inside is third as they prepare to take their one and only turn. And Duke of Dremoyne next. And all together, Gadfly after that one. The back marker is Zephonic Bell. It's Captain Fame and Daenerys Stormborn continuing to dispute the lead then. From Duke of Dremoyne who's now gone into third. Kiko's Accord is fourth and altogether Charlie and Hammer and Anvil. Six fields has just dropped back a little bit. It's going to get trapped in on the inside. Zephonic Bell's going to try and get a split up there and Six fields has now been relegated to the back marker spot as Daenerys Stormborn has found himself four lengths clear of the grey altogether Charlie in second now six fields comes back through again into third so you can see what a middling pace it is the way the horses are changing position in the pack but Daenerys Stormborn is clear but now coming back to them altogether Charlie Hammer and Anvil on the outside then six fields and Duke of Dremoyne Zephonic Bell is next been a while sitting quietly Kiko's a court Captain Fames now dropped to the back as they pass the seven furlong mark and Daenerys Stormborn who's in the lead from Duke of Dremoyne then the bottom weight six fields on the inside round the outside Kiko's Accord comes through Bina was now coming through to challenge Hammer and Anvil has just lost its place but they're still pretty tightly packed and only about four or five lengths first to last as Duke of Dremoyne comes to challenge for the lead Daenerys Stormborn hanging on the rail Daenerys Stormborn just about in front from Duke of Dremoyne up the centre of the track with Bina Wild then comes six fields after that one a phonic bell Kiko's Accord you wouldn't rule anything out altogether Together. Charlie has now dropped to the back but he's only four lengths off the lead. Duke of Dremoyne, Daenerys Stormborn, been a while. Kiko's Accord, closest to us. Hammer and Anvil getting back into it. So too six fields and Hammer and Anvil is now a bit either. Over on that far side Captain Fame's a little bit boxed in. Altogether Charlie's now switched to the outside. They've got three furlongs to go and Duke of Dremoyne hits the front. The Clutterbuck pair are closing again. Those are Phonic Bell and Daenerys Stormborn. Kiko's Accord up the centre of the track. Six fields, quarter bit flat footed. Captain Fame trying to get going. Hammer and Anvil and been a while beginning to struggle on the line outside altogether Charlie is trying to get into it furlong and a half to go and Duke of Dremoyne is half a length up on Kiko's Accord from Zephonic Bell and Daenerys Stormborn but it's Duke of Dremoyne who leads in running inside the final furlong they've got just over half a furlong to go and Duke of Dremoyne from Kiko's Accord is between these surely it's Duke of Dremoyne hanging on they're not going to get him I don't think and he's starting to pull away I think and he gets it easily Duke of Dremoyne wins it Kiko's Accord was second and then came Zephonic Bell later on and I think all together Charlie might have been the last one to finish Daenerys Stormborn might have gone up to beat the stable companion Zephonic Bell for third and it's Duke of Dremoyne that takes it for Padraig Hogan Kiko's Accord 
for David Robertson was second. Daenerys Stormborn Grand Crucible was third. Also took fourth with Zephonic Bell and Captain Fame for Craig Beckwith was fifth.